Hi thinkers, welcome to the coding interview preparation course on ThinkX Academy. This video is going to be very exciting because in this video we are going to do a Python a mock interview. So basically I'm going to ask five questions that I have encountered in a real Python interview that I have given and I have collected, uh, I have handpicked those questions and I think that if you are a beginner Python programmer and if you are planning to go to some uh, let's say some company or some organization where you want to become a Python developer so this video will give you a basic idea of how the questions are being asked in an interview and I will also tell you how to answer them and how to actually what is the thinking process behind the questions that were being asked right So let's start with the first question which is what are the default data structures in python right so i will write the question here now what you will have to do is pause the video and you will have to answer this question right so now i'm going to give the answer to this question so the first one is the dictionary data structure and we know that in Python we can create a dictionary using these curly brackets and keys and values separated by colon. Then we have the lists data structure which is actually represented using these square brackets. Right? Then we have tuples and then we have set. So we have these uh, four default data structures in Python. Now, uh, when you're going to an interview, the first few questions are going to be easy level. And what the interviewer will do is when you will answer them, he's going to ask some more questions in depth related to that. Uh, after this question, he may ask you uh, what are the data structures and data types that are mutable and immutable. Now let's move on to the second question, which is a little bit, I would say, tricky because most of the people study data structures, but they just forget for some reason on the applications of data structure. So the second question is, what is the application of application or applications of doubly linked list? Right, so you will have to pause the video, do not search for the answer anywhere and you will have to answer this question. I am the interview, you will have to answer it to me, right? So remember when you are going to an interview, the first thing is make sure to remember all the applications of data structure including time complexity of the operations in these data structures. So the first, this question was asked by the interviewer from me. But before this question, what he asked is what is the difference between a linked list and a doubly linked list? Now, when I answered that, his immediate next question was this what is the application of doubly linked list, right? So, uh, if you know uh, that doubly linked list is act, you will first have to make sure that you do not just give the direct answer. In an interview, uh, the interviewer is trying to interact with you, so you will have to first explain him what is a doubly linked list, right? So we'll have to explain it that in a doubly linked list we have nodes with the next pointer. So the next pointer points to the next node, but in a doubly linked list we have a double pointer. So one is the next pointer and the second one is the previous pointer, right? So we have a previous pointer as well, and the first node is the head node here, and this one is the null, right? So you can see here, this is a doubly linked list. First, you will have to explain him what is a doubly linked list and then using this uh, explanation, you will have to explain the application. So the application is in web browsers. You, you have seen uh, in web browsers that when you are visiting a website, right? Let's say you visit one website and this block represents that particular website. And now you navigate to some other website which was there in the link. So you click the link on this website and you visited the second website, which is this one. And then you visited the third one. Now what you want to do is you know that there is a back button functionality inside a web browser. So if you will click the back button, it will take you to the previous web page. So here we can use the doubly linked list concept. So this is the first application. The se second one is 
the navigation systems right so when you are going to an interview make sure that you you, know, you actually remember all of these applications in navigation systems also we want to have a previous uh, navigations right so this is the second question that was asked in the interview now the third question is a really tricky one the third question is which data structure will you choose for a spell checker program right so you might have seen various uh, spell checker softwares so what you will have what the question is how which data structure will you choose for a spell checker software now see here the interviewer can ask you questions uh, differently right first he asks you what is the application of data structure but remember he may ask you the opposite of it right he may ask you what data structure can you use to implement navigation systems he may ask you how you can implement this functionality right so when you are preparing for the interviews make sure that you know the both sides of the applications right so basically which data structure will you choose for a spell checker you will have to pause the video and answer this question to me this is i would say a medium to high level question and the answer i'm going to give the answer to this question the answer is the try data structure right so this try data structure is basically used for a spell checker because uh, it uses the idea of the uh, grammar so let's say we start from the root node we can have as many as 26 nodes in the child node so using these nodes we can actually use this try data structure to implement spell checker i'm not going to explain the whole try data structure i will create a whole new video for this in the uh, python data structures playlist that i've created on this channel i will add this data structure it is a very important data structure and basically i have studied this so the first thing is when the interviewer asked me this question i i, I was not able to remember this data structure right because i have not studied that uh, in detail right so make sure that every data structure you know that these are the applications of, of the data structure so uh, let's say the try data structure comes in so uh, most of the times when you don't know answer to a particular question uh, the interviewer will not just uh, will give will try to give you some hints also right so you will have to just make sure that the uh, hints that the interviewer is trying to give you you will have to get that right so when this question was asked i was not able to answer the question i didn't knew uh, that we can use try data structure uh, so what he asked was in the next question so i was not able to answer this question so his next question was what is a try data structure at the moment he asked me what is a try data structure and i was explaining him i immediately got the hint that this can be used for a spell checker program and i immediately told him that right now what happened is when i was giving the interview i was surprised to see that the questions were not always from python right they will ask you questions related to general programming so the next question which is the fourth question is what is the difference between multi-threaded right so i will write here what is the difference between multi-threaded versus asynchronous programming okay so this question was asked from me now you might have studied multi-threaded and asynchronous programming I have even created a dedicated video on explaining this concept in this playlist only which is coding interview preparation. I will give the link to the playlist, uh, all the playlists that I have created in the description below so you can check that out. So what you will have to do is pause the video and you will have to explain it to yourself what is the difference between these two by giving a simple example, right? You will have to explain it to the interviewer. Now let's move on to the fifth and the last question and the last question is what are API methods 
So the first thing you will have to do is in an interview never just give direct answers uh, in rush. No, you will have to stay calm and you will have to uh, just make sure that whatever the question is asked you understand that and you will have to give him the answer related to that. So if you don't know what are the API methods you can actually explain what is an API and then using that explanation now you can actually say that these are the API methods. So basically you will have to pause the video and tell me in, in the comments out of these five questions how many you answered correctly. First I will write the API methods which are the get, then we have post, we have post, then we have put and then finally we have delete. We also have some few like traces also there, right? So I give these API methods which is get, post, put, delete. And now what he asked me in the interviewer asked me uh, what are these used for, right? What are the uses of get, post, put and delete? So basically these are the CRUD operations, right? For post you will have to, you can create something, right? You know CRUD operations, CRUD is basically create, retrieve, update and delete. So if you want to retrieve, you can use get API, sorry, the get method. To update you will have to use put and to delete you will have to obviously use delete. I am really excited to know what is your score. Make sure to comment that down. Uh, let's see how many of you get 5 out of 5 at this beginner level. I have more questions also. I have collected a lot of questions and uh, I will create more and more videos related to this. So make sure to like this video, subscribe our channel and uh, keep supporting our content. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.